get blown up. So that means Steven's uh, luck is about to run out anytime. Hey, remember the remember the night we got into the fight at that dude's wedding? Yeah. Me and Dave went to blows. And I went to this fight. Me and Wendell have been hitting each other in the head with beer bottles and went to jail. Yep. Yeah. Just saying. But we've been through a lot of stuff together, and this is honest to goodness the last show that Stephen Clark is going to do with us. And I gotta say from my heart of hearts that I am really gonna miss your ass. I'm gonna miss you a lot. And I love you. I love you with all my heart. I really do. Give me a hug. You're a hug. No, I'm not gonna touch it. All right, I'm gonna hug you. So here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. Tarbus is gonna continue on, but only. Only because we have to, because Tark Bus is not about any one person. Tark Bus is an attitude, and we believe that everybody in this room, and everybody that sees us, just wants to have a good time and listen to great music. Am I right? So we got Jack Brinson now from 99 PH, and he's going to take over. And that's kick-ass. Yeah. So that don't suck. But that does not diminish the fact that we love Steve. And Steve has to take care of his family and do what he has to do for his family. So everybody make some noise one more time for our brother. This is Steve Clark over here. We love him. Been through a lot of wars together. We've been through a lot of stuff. And I'm not going to lie, dude. I'm going to miss you. I hate your guts. Same, same here. But I love you so much. Seriously. Hey, you know what? We're going to commence with the bullshit. We're going to get down to rock and roll. But this is my last show with Jefferson Tark Bus. And I want to thank everybody who's ever come out to a Jefferson Tark Bus show. Watch us get hammered and have a good time. And yeah, me and Dave, we have probably been in the trenches together. And we've been in each other's face, but ain't none of y'all gonna get this face. Oh, I'll be right there. Right so give it up for Jefferson Park Bus, please. You know, truth be told, we're gonna give you a real quick history, a real quick history. When this band started, <laughs> it was so bad that only Wild Bill from Fernand Moody's would book it. And it was only because, it's only because he was stronger than hell. Dude, and then when we showed up at his club, he was like, what are y'all doing here? He's like, I booked you guys? And I go, yeah, man. He said, come on up. And he goes, screw it, play. And then we played, and he was like, oh, can you guys play every week? <laughs> we were still that bad. And we played for $50. Sure. 